Welcome back once more, everybody, to Starbound here on Mog's Cast with me, Mog, and we are playing again, but this time we're going after the giant jelly boss, and uh, this is going to be the final boss in the game thus far. It opens up the uh, the final area, I guess you might call it, I think. I want to double check that real quick on the Wikipedia page I've got open next to me. It doesn't say anything on the Wikipedia page, but whatever. This is the final boss that's listed, so I'm going to go for it, and this is the last boss I've fought, and I'm in Sector X, so I'm going to assume that's right. Now, uh, you may have noticed every other boss uh, summoning item that we've created has either been through the metal workstation or the anvil. Uh, actually, the distress beacon might be through the crafting table as well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This time, it's a little different. You're going to have to craft up your uh, creature capture station and build a peanut butter trap here. This summons your last boss. You need 700 pixels and 40 dura steel bar. So, craft that since I have enough. And uh, you may notice I'm not wearing platinum armor or makeshift armor, which is technically the default tier. I already had a full set of the uh, Outriders helm, which is or Outriders armor, which is the human tier four stuff. So I'm just gonna use it since I already had it ready to go. And I'm gonna show you that uh, I do have the compensator. This is the Dura Steel build stuff, uh, single-handed weapon, and a shield, which I think is the right tier. But these don't have descriptions, so I'm, I, I think this is the right tier. It might be a tier lower. I shot low. Um, I've also built myself a hammer time hammer, and I'm using the Deadly Kingslayer, which is a weapon that seems about right for the tier at 87 DPS compared to 100 and 133, so the gun usually is a little bit lower since it's a ranged weapon. At least that's how I'm looking at it. I don't know. They don't, they're not exactly listed, but this is what I actually built this area for, this boss. These little, these little nodules here is what I built for, uh, the, the jelly, the giant jelly. Why don't we go ahead and get this thing going, shall we? You're gonna, as always, want to make sure that you have enough healing gear and have everything well lit in case you got to fight him at night, but that shouldn't be a problem here, I don't think. We've pretty much got this all set up and ready to go. Uh, I don't think I'll have any issues. I might actually, you know, have some issues fighting him, but otherwise, being prepared for it, I don't think so. So let's go ahead and get this thing underway, shall we? Come here, buddy. Summon it up. There he is, and he brings friends. So something to keep in mind, and they blow bubbles. Whoa, he just went down there. I'm okay with that. Might be lost for a little while. Alright, buddy. Where'd you go? There you are. So, yeah, he does these little things. You know some of those bosses or those enemies that actually fire uh, those little exploding green bits? That's what these are. They last a long time and actually have a pretty big area of effect. So, I'm gonna fight him. Like I fight most bosses. Cheating the shit out of it. So, come here. Can I hit you? Apparently not. I'd like to get rid of those little guys first, but it is what it is. If I have to fight them like this with them still alive, at least they're both kind of caught off screen. I'm okay with this. Yeah, come on down. Now, this guy thankfully doesn't break blocks like uh, the UFO will with his bash, so why don't we go ahead and angle this up a little bit so you can actually see this guy. Now, he doesn't really have a, a, a bubble like his little guys do. Those bubbles are what can really do you in. They can they chase you down, but thankfully that's what you got the sh sword and shield for. You can actually kind of block those bubbles from actually really hitting you. I'm going to heal up while I'm thinking about it since we are waiting for other things to go through anyway as well. That's earning more... Uh, whoa. Okay, don't jump into him. I forgot about that port. You can't really hit him like you did with the other ones. Wow, come on down here, buddy. You're probably going to try to spit bubbles at me, aren't you? You little shit. I'm just going to try and kill this guy while we have him here. Oh, there he goes with the damn bubbles, and of course I don't block it at all, so... Hit him a few more times. Hit me with your bubbles. Go ahead, shoot me. Little bastard. Yeah, of course, he waits until I freaking get... Put down my guard. I don't know if he's smart or if he's just... Really bad timing for me. Come on. There he goes with the damn bubbles again. Sir, we blocked a little bit of him. I'm going to take a, take a thing there. Okay, I'm gonna wait until we heal up a little bit. Oh god, I've got him on both sides now. Come here. Hit me with your bubbles, seriously. Okay, whatever. Let's concentrate back on the big guy. And we do have him down about halfway thus far, give or take. Now he's about halfway. Whoa! Scared me for a moment there. But yeah, if you got your, uh, your areas closed enough, he can't really get through. You can come through a little bit, but not too much. And I wonder if I can do this. Come on back down here. Get close. And you're just bouncing now. Crazy little bastard. Come on down. I want you to come right down to the middle here. So I'm going to try and get you with the overhead swing. Please come on down here. There we go. Look at that. Get him right caught in there. Now you could probably use his little 
his little uh, spit move with the purple bits to actually probably get me down here, but he doesn't seem to be wanting to, so this tells you a little bit about his AI at least. Come here. Hit you a few more and we got full full uh, energy again, so might as well just start doing this. Okay. Bubble spinner's back. Now something to keep in mind with these guys, I do believe once you kill the big guy, they'll die. If I'm not mistaken. Now this is too big of a gap for him to go through, but there he goes. Oh, I lied to you guys. His other guys are still awake, but that's fine. We can kill him easily now. Not have to worry about the big guy getting in the way. Come here. Okay, I'm really bad at doing this, apparently. Oh, you son of a bee. Okay, we're just gonna hit him a bit. Finish off the fight. Since this is this is part of the fight. With this weapon, it takes about a whole block down of his health each time. So something to keep in mind for the damage aspect, but there you go. You got your uh, endomorphic jelly used to create whatever the heck it's used to create. I don't even remember at this point. Is, is it the uh, robot crafting facility? Is it one of the other tables? I think that's the newest one. Or the wiring station? I don't think that unlocks a tier. Is it? Is it really just a map upgrade for this one again? I left my doors open. Oops, and I did it again. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put away my endomorphic jelly, since I don't need it. And let's go take a look, because I'm kind of curious now, after I'm thinking about it. Just give you guys a more complete picture of this. Star map mark 4. That's dragon bone. Uh, is it the survival? Nope. Mark 3. You know what? I'm just gonna Wikipedia it. Endomorphic jelly. Peanut butter trap, endomorphic jelly, used to create the Dura Steel Tech upgrade. That's what it is, which allows players to travel to Sector X. So it's not listed as a star map upgrade. It's the Dura Steel Tech upgrade that you're looking for in here. Is it this spot though? Dura Steel Tech upgrade. This guy right here, 40 Dura Steel bars and an endomorphic jelly is what this creates. Gets you to Sector Five and allows you to work with uh, egg assault, which is what makes the armor I was wearing before switching and doing all these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching the series here, running through killing all the bosses here in Starbound. We're going to continue on, and I think I've actually figured out how we're going to do the exploration thing. Instead of picking random planets, we're going to be going through and actually picking up uh, planets from the Starbound Reddit, or uh, Starbound Planets Reddit, subreddit, uh, there on reddit.com, and actually running through some of the ones that I find pretty interesting so that you can kind of see them and see why people post them and what's available on the surface. And I'm going to be running through and actually exploring them on, uh, on video for you guys. Hopefully that's something you guys want to watch. But thank you so much for watching once more. I know I kind of got off track there, but we will see you guys next time. Cheers.